you might wondering, how are we going to cover all? Modeling, lighting, shading, and UV mapping. In just one video. Yes, we will. If you are new to this channel, must subscribe and like this video to get more short tutorials. Okay, so let's start by adding a reference image, a circle, and manually moving the half part of the circle to create the base of model. Now fill the face of the circle, extrude in Z-axis, and add loop cuts, and bevel them for cutting the middle part of the mesh. If you find yourself stuck and not able to add loop cut in the middle of the mesh, then manually connect vertices, and then you'll be able to make a loop cut. Now bridge the middle faces from both front and back part of the mesh to create a hole for the wheel. Now let's bevel the sharp edges of the hole and then add a subsurface modifier. Got this issue? Add some more loop cuts and bevel them to make supporting edges and at last shade smooth and you will get this. For the wheel, just add a cylinder between the hole and adjust the dimensions which will fit the best. Now, for the bumps over the wheel, just go to the Edit tab. Select all the faces and simply inset them individually by pressing I two times. And now extrude those faces along the normals. And now, for creating the rest of the upper body, don't use any another mesh. Just simply inset the top face of the mesh and extrude it. And now, you could do it many times as you want but we'll do it only two times to get our result. And yep, don't forget to bevel the sharp edges. And now, for creating the cream or the blush, whatever women says it. Duplicate the upper face and then delete the main one and then separate them by loose parts. After that, you just need to inset and extrude to get the same result. And don't forget to bevel the sharp edges because this will give out cream the smooth curve at the top like in the reference image. And now, I want to let you know some of the things. See, in real world, there is no blush or cosmetics product, which is meters big, right? So what we will do here is just change the units in centimeters and change the scale of our model, which will reflect the real world product dimensions. And we're not doing this just to give an illusion to our mind that we are creating a small cosmetics product. Nope. This will help us eye in lighting. Because by scaling the model down, it will act like a real life thing and get the same light effects like real life. And now for the studio lighting. Add a plain mesh and extrude the edge which will be behind our model. And yep, don't forget to add bevel and shading smooth. Then next we will add the camera to the scene and configure its positioning to the right spot to get the nice look of our model. Now switch to the cycles tab and add an area light, it will be our key light. You can clearly see scaling down the model actually helped us. And move the area light to the best position to get that sharp lighting look on the model's face. Now add another area light, or just duplicate the current one and decrease the strength to fill the background with lighting. Personally, I'm liking this version more than the final one. At last, add another area light and position it. Decrease the strength. Tweak it according to your liking. Now it's time for the shading part. Let's start with the plane. We don't really have to do much with it. Just add a color and you're good to go. And finally, our main model. Personally, I would like to add color in all the meshes first then all the other properties. You can do it too. It's all upon your liking. And now, the final thing you have to tweak is the clear coat and roughness. Yes, that's it. Make the clear coat of the body to all the way one and the roughness to the 0.300 or 0.200. Next for the blush cream. You can add a 0.6 or 0.8 with some amount of clear coat in it too. Now, personally, by looking at this video, you can't tell any difference. So try it by yourself. Now for the scene creation. We don't have to think about this that much. Just go to the Google and search for cosmetics. If you see a good scene, just replicate it in your model. I also found a scene, which I'm gonna replicate. If you want it, you can also make it with me. And here we go.
Now, let's make our label for the model. I like to use Figma for creating my simple labels. And for the complex ones, um, by the way, no label is complex. You just need to break the design in chunks. After creating our label, I would like to slow down the things. After making our label, let's apply it. Watch every part carefully so you don't miss any step. That's all. This is the final look of a different scene render that I created. No property tweaks. Just move my model. Here. And. There. If you've been here, thanks a lot for watching. Tell me how I can improve my YouTube tutorials by commenting below.